So you signed in in NetVibes. And here you have an example of a course dashboard. It's related to the MobiMoo course or the free and open online course on mobile learning. As you can see here, we have a Facebook group, Wikispaces, Twitter, Google group, and also YouTube movies and other stuff. But this might not be relevant for you. So let's say you are looking for something or want to create a dashboard specifically for M-learning con content. No problem. Let NetVibes do the work. You simply put in M-learning and here you have a new tab with content all related to M-Learning. Isn't that easy? So it's Twitter, it's Yahoo Groups, and it's also the less used Bing Use. So I'm going to delete Bing Use. Here you just simply click on Close, you delete, and you go back to the dashboard. How easy is that? Now, as you can see, we have one space over here and which isn't populated. So NetVibes also offers you a quick and easy way to rearrange your das dashboard. Simply move it. How easy is that, I ask. Now let's go a step further. Let's say you want to have a dashboard for all your eLearning Guild news. Simply click on New tab, say eLearning Guild. Let NetVibes do the work for you or the initial work. Simply wait for a moment. I count you one, two, well, it's here already, so that's easy. But in this case, Learning Solutions, which is the major publication of eLearning Guild, isn't in it because it's not eLearning Guild Solutions, it's Learning Solutions. So I want to add some content to this dashboard. Simply click on Add Content, say Add a Feed, go to the Learning Solutions magazine website, click on the RSS Feed button, it will open in a new window, you say subscribe now and it will allow you to just copy and paste, here you go, the XML you need to put in this RSS feed URL box. Here you will see the icon of the feed, you simply drag it to the space you want it to appear in your dashboard is close to add content and here you are. How easy is that? By the way, Chris, you're looking great. Now, of course, you want to make your content or the dashboard of your course public. So how do you do that? Simply go to the URL here, copy it, put it in any new tab or distribute it via email and here you go. People have access. Now you want to fine tune everything. You can do this easily in NetVibes. Simply click next to the down arrow in your tab and let's say you want to go for four columns instead of three. No problem. Simply click on four columns. Here you go. Grab some content. Just sweep it to the fourth com column. And here you go, it's done. Click on the X and here you have it. Now for those wondering what the numbers are, those are the unread items in the dashboard. So that's a good indicator as well. And there's some fine tuning you can do using this as well. Let's say go for local content, change languages, or well, customize it any way you want to. So that's it. It's easy. It's great. It does a lot of things automatically. So just go for it.